Alright guys, today we're going to be doing an in-depth, here comes my doggo, if you hear any click clack in there sir, um, I'm going to be doing an in-depth um, just kind of video showing you guys my shower jelly collection. Um, when I did my Lush collection video, I had some requests to do more of like an in-depth kind of video of everything, so this one's going to be my shower jelly. I do plan on doing an in-depth of my shower gels, my bath bombs, my bubble bars, all that good stuff, but I decided to start with these. Um, my shower jelly collection isn't, you know, super huge. I mean, I, I do have a lot of shower jellies, but it's not as crazy as like my bath bomb bubble bar uh, kind of collection. So we're just gonna go over the ones that I have. Um, I have the Rose Jam Shower Jelly, this one. Obviously one of my favorites, you guys. A lot of you know that Rose Jam is one of my favorite scents. And you will notice a theme with the shower jellies that there's not a ton that have been used very often yet. Um, when I started to just kind of collect, I haven't really gotten into using all of my stuff really in depth yet. I am going to take my sleeves and roll them up here before I get stuff all over them. Um, so now that I did my Lush collection video, I can finally start really using these products. Now with my shower jellies, I do like to use them a lot with cocktails. So here is Rose Jam. It's absolutely wonderful smelling. I love the Rose Jam scent. I just got the Rose Jam um, body spray and I wear that like every day and the scent of it, it just lasts and lasts. It lasts all freaking day. It smells so good. So I have Rose Jam and because it is one of my favorites, I actually do have two of them. So, two Rose Jam shower jellies in my collection, which smell amazing. Um, let's see, I also have two of these here, and these are the Strawberry Twin Tubs. I don't, I don't remember when I purchased these, I didn't mean to buy two, but I ended up getting two. Um, just, you know, sometimes with the kitchen when you're, you were placing orders, um, you know, I'd forget that I had already placed an order for something and then the next day I was like, oh, I don't think I got that one. And then I ended up, I had gotten it. So that's how I got doubles of some things. But the Strawberry Twin Tub just looks like this. It looks very similar to Rose Jam as far as color goes. However, the scent of Strawberry Twin Tub smells just like a nice, sweet strawberry scent. I think it is like a perfect, kind of like springtime kind of smell. So I like that one a lot. And I do have two and I used this one um, a couple of times, there is some gone through there. I think I used some of those for cocktailing as well. So I have two of those in my collection. Let's see if I have two of other things. Yes, I have two of the Magic Shower Jellies. And this one hasn't been used yet, but this one I have used a lot of that. Now with Magic, this one is kind of like a a dark blue kind of color and it has like a an herbally scent to it it's definitely one of those unique kind of smells and you know some people I could see maybe not really liking the scent of it because of that herbaliness but I really do think it's pretty good it's got like a mintiness with it as well um, but it's got, like, it smells a little bit like basil and, and peppermint. So it's a bit of a unique scent, but it's it's one of those smells that kind of just, I don't know, when you smell it, it, it kind of just zings your nose is how I would describe it. Um, so I do have two of those. Um, let's see here. I think I have two Sweetie Pies as well, so we'll go with those next. And again, this one hasn't been used, but this one has been used quite a bit. Now, let's see what Sweetie Pie looks like. This one here is kind of like a... It's kind 
of like, a, I want to say this is like a dark, dark reddish color. And it has just the sweetest smell to it. It's like a, how would I describe this one? It's a little bit on the fruity kind of berry side is how I would describe it. Um, just a beautiful like cherry, like cherry kind of smell. Um, but just got like a sweetness to it. Hence the sweetie pie. It smells really, really good. Again, a nice smell like for like summertime or springtime. I like using more fruity scents during um, like the um, warmer um, weather months. So that is part of my collection. Let's see what else. Oh, I have two of these. Um, this is the iced wine shower jelly. This one I have not used yet, but this one I've had for a while. And you can probably obviously tell because the packaging is a little different looking. Um, this is one of those ones that I loved so much that, and you guys who are obsessed with Lush probably understand when you fear you're going to run out of something and never have it again, but you still want to smell it, that's what it was with the iced wine. So this is my really old one that I kind of just kept a hold of so I could sniff it, and you can see it's pretty disgusting. It's mainly just liquid now, but you know what? It still smells exactly the same. But then the kitchen came out with the iced wine shower jelly, so I was able to get a new one. Um, this one smells... Um, the same, it's actually, I would say, hold on, I would say the old one, this one here, smells stronger than the newer one, um, and this one is kind of like a, almost like a, let me see if I can get that to focus, there we go, it's kind of like an orangey color, and it smells like just this, oh my gosh, it is so hard to describe. Um, to me, it smells like you would associate with the scent, iced wine. It's just got like a, like a berry kind of just crisp, almost like it smells chill, if you know what I mean. It smells so freaking good. I absolutely love the scent of that. Um, that's why I was holding on to my, my old one for so long. Um, let's see, I have a American Pie Shower Jelly. I absolutely love the look of this one. It's just this beautiful matte pink color. It almost reminds me of like um, strawberry yogurt or something like that. And it smells like um, just a strawberry kind of... Um, vanilla kind of smell. It's super, super sweet smelling, and I definitely love the look of that. Sorry, I keep getting it close to the camera and then it doesn't want to focus. So I have just one of those. Another pink one I have is pink custard, and this one is a vanilla and a lavender. Scent. My hand is getting all. This one I have used quite a bit. I don't have a whole lot left, and I cut this one up. Sometimes I cut up my shower jellies just to make them a little more um, easily manageable in the in the shower. But this one definitely has that lavender, sweet lavender um, kind of smell to it. It smells really nice, and again, I love the look of that, the color. I'm a huge fan of pink. <laughs> um, let's see, we have an Avo Shower, Shower Jelly. This one's really pretty, too, because it's green. Um, kind of giving me some Christmas vibes here. And it looks like this. It's on the, like, shimmery kind of metallic um, side. It's very, very, very pretty. I just love like feeling shower jellies. They are so much fun. So this one is kind of got like a citrusy, spicy, woody kind of scent. It's it's a really nice smell, and I really like the look of this. It is so stinking gorgeous. So 
I have just one of those in my collection, which I have not used yet, and I really need to because that one's giving me like Christmas vibes with that color, so it'd be perfect to use here soon. Um, I have just one of the Karma Shower Jelly. Um, I was wearing my Karma Perfume today, and I think, I feel like this Karma Shower Jelly has a stronger scent than my Karma Perfume, um, but I love the scent of Karma. It's got a, it smells like patchouli. It's got that patchouli in it, but it's also got like a lemongrass kind of scent. So it's like a, a bit of like a citrusy patchouli scent. And I think it smells super fantastic. So I really like my perfume. And this, I feel like it, it's just a little bit more potent of a smell than what my perfume gives off. So... That's a little weird, but um, I definitely love the scent of Karma. Um, let's see, I have a Deep Sleep in my collection, and this one is so, so beautiful. This one here is kind of like a golden color, and it's got this like swirly, kind of metallic-y, look to it is absolutely beautiful love the look of that and this one is made with like orange juice and it's got lavender in it as well and it just has kind of I definitely smell the lavender more than anything in this but it's got that like kind of citrus note in it as well and it is just so super pretty so I love the look of that one too and I need to start using some of these. Sometimes it's overwhelming. Like I go to like pick something out and then like with some of my products, like I try to like get through a whole of something, you know what I mean? And then I'm neglecting my other stuff and it, it gets kind of stressful sometimes, you guys, when like you're trying to figure out what you want to use every day. Um, next, I have a 93,000 miles shower jelly. And this one is kind of like a scent that you would want to use, or I mean you can use it at any time, but it's one of those ones that would be perfect to use when you're just feeling a little maybe um, under the weather or you're feeling a little sore. It's supposed to be good for um, muscle ache and stuff like that because of the scents that are in here. It's made with like cinnamon leaf and peppermint oil. So it's got all of those like minty, spicy smells inside and it smells really good. This would be a great one also to use, I think like when it's cold outside because it's such a warming kind of scent. So that one is in my collection. Basically, when the kitchen was open, I was buying every shower jelly I could get my hands on that I did not already have in my collection. Um, next, I have a Happy Blooming shower jelly. And this one, again, is kind of like on the reddish side. We got like a bubble there. Ooh, that's neat. Do you see that? It's almost like it's got skin. Uh, but let's see, Happy Blooming is made with coconut water and it's got like a fruity kind of smell to it, um, just like a cherry kind of scent is how I would describe it. It's like a, almost like a cherry freeze pop or something, like the, the fruit juice that would be left over when you're eating like a, a cherry flavored freeze pop is how I would describe that scent. It smells really nice, very strong um, cherry smell. Let me wipe off my hands again. I have this really old Strawberry Santa shower jelly. Um, this is how packaging shower jellies used to come in. This thing expired November of 2010. So this is super duper old. Strawberry Santa, it smells like um, strawberry twin tub to me. And I hated the packaging of these, so I'm so thankful they changed the packaging because this packaging was no good. But as far as the product goes, it's still, 
it's still a jelly, it still smells the same. Um, this one actually isn't even all that liquidy like my iced wine is. And I do plan on doing a video of this, um, just like I have done using other old Lush products. So, I have that still in my collection, but I'm ready to like use the rest of it so I can can make room for some newer stuff, but it's so much fun doing like demos of like some of the old Lush products. Like I've actually been trying to like find people on eBay who are selling like really old Lush products and I guess no one bothers because they think people aren't gonna buy it, but like I wanna buy it so I can like do demos for you guys um, just for fun. So next I have a ghost shower jelly and this one is white obviously and I have used this some. I just like cut off a slice of it basically. But it's like a matte white color and ghost is like um, a floral scent. There's like ylang ylang in there and uh, rose water and it smells so good. I love the smell of this. It's just a beautiful floral smell. So that one is part of my collection. Another white one that I have is the Snow Showers Shower Jelly and this one smells like bubbly. It's like a champagne um, scented. Again this one is it's pretty much the same color as Ghost. It's just like a white creamy like milk colored white um but this one smells um like orange it's just like an orange kind of just effervescent kind of smell like you know how you associate champagne with um but yeah it smells just like the bubbly um shower gel my boyfriend loves that one so oops i got a little bit of something else in there i don't know what that one is so that is part of my collection. I have a Party On shower jelly, and I did use this quite a bit. There's only a couple of chunks left in here, and this one was like a metallic, um, not metallic, just like, what is the word I want to use to describe this? It was like a neon, like it is like a, a neon greenish yellow color. Um, and this has just a, um, it's, it's very invigorating smelling. Um, just like if, you, it's almost like medicinal as far as like something that you would use if like you're feeling kind of sick. You know what I mean? Like it almost reminds me of like a, a lozenge that you would, you would suck on for like if your throat is, you know, feeling kind of sick. Like if you're sick, like sore throat or something, like that's what it reminds me of. It's got a very, very like strong kind of zingy scent to it. Um, I have a bada bing, bada boom shower jelly. This one is ylang ylang. And it is, I think this one is also kind of like on the reddish side. I use this a little bit. And it looks like this. And... This one is made with um, rose petal and thyme, lavender, so it's got like a florally, it's like a floral but herbally kind of scent to it. So, but it looks like that. And I don't have a whole lot more. Let's see what else I got sitting over here. I have a refresher shower jelly. This one my boyfriend really likes. It's super lemony, and that's the main reason I'm not a huge, huge fan of it. Um, he's really into those um, very citrusy, lemony scents. It's absolutely beautiful, though. The color of it is gorgeous, just like a metallic-y yellow color. Um, very, very, very bright lemon smell. Like straight up, I refer to it like lemon cleaner kind of smell because it is super duper duper lemony scented. Uh, but if you love lemon scents and you love um, that um, very strong citrus lemon smell, you would love that one. Um, he really does like that one. And same with Woosh. He was a big fan of this one as well. And Woosh is also <laughs> made with lemon, um, grapefruit. It's a beautiful blue color. 
and it's one of those ones that's going to like wake you up in the morning kind of scent. Just very strong and citrusy of a smell. But it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the blue color of that. Oops, that one doesn't want to go back in right. Pop that back in there. There we go. Okay, and let's see. We have, I have two of uh, the Santa's Belly Shower Jelly. And these smell like apple. And they are made with ap like apple juice. And they're, they're very liquidy. They're very, very liquidy. But again, like I said, they're made with apple juice. So that kind of explains, you know, why they're so liquidy. But this one has beautiful shimmer in, and you can see it's shaped to look like Santa's belly, like that's his belt. And then there are little tiny stars inside the jelly itself. It is so stinking cute, and it smells, it smells just like a beautiful sweet apple scent. Like a, a sweet apple juice is how I would definitely describe that. So I have two of those, and I'm going to do a demo of that, since it is a holiday item. Um, we'll have to do a demo of that. And same with the Snowman Shower Jelly. I do have two of these as well. And again, this one is shaped like a snowman. So we'll get him out, and he's white. And you can see he is shaped like a little snowman. He's got a lemon and bergamot scent, and to me he smells like, um, if you guys are familiar with the bunch of carrots reusable bubble bars that come out at Easter time, or the flopsy jelly face mask, like that's what the snowman smells like to me. It smells really nice, and he does resemble a snowman, not like perfectly obviously, but you see his little body here, and like a scarf, a hat, and his little nose poking out here. So it's super cute when they're shaped like something, though obviously when you're going to use it you're just going to pinch some off and it's not going to retain the shape anymore. But anyway guys, that is the end of my shower jelly collection. Um, there have been some that I wish that I could have gotten my hands on, but you know, with the kitchen and everything before trying to like buy stuff on the kitchen, sometimes I would sleep in, you know how it was, and, or like things would sell out before I got a chance to buy stuff. So there are some that I wish were in my collection but aren't. So I mean maybe at some point in time they would be in my collection but I am anxious to, you know, start in on using up some of these and I just, you know, like with my iced wine, oh my goodness. Like, I was hanging on to this one for, like, ever, thinking I was never going to have it again. Um, and then, you know, once the kitchen came out with it, then I got my hands on a new one. But now, since the kitchen is gone, I don't know what I'm going to do because, you know, they were saying how there's going to be these exclusives and stuff, but, like, nothing has been, has been coming yet. So, I still don't know what's going on with that. And... I don't know, it's like a part of me is is a little worried, I guess. It's going to be harder to get our hands on some of these products now. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought, what, what your favorite shower jelly is, and... Um, which one you miss maybe that, you know, you can't obviously like buy anymore and or is, or like maybe you're concerned that it's going to be hard to, to get your hands on again. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought down below and I will see you next time.